Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Leap Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. You don't, don't think what you're going to say when you're doing the introduction, Mark, because you're going to screw it up. Anyway, had a little pause there. Alright, so welcome to, welcome to the show. Uh, I've got another wine here for you, um, another Bordeaux wine. Uh, this is, um, I just want to check on the Ustream thing. Alright, cool, that's still going. Now that I got all the little kinks worked out, I think I've got this whole live streaming figured out. I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another. Uh, what's my call it here? Another little tweet. I should have done this before I started recording. Live wine reviews. Okay. All right. So um, I got the next wine here in the Bordeaux series, or the France, the French trip series of wines. As it's starting to get a little bit darker outside, we're getting less ambient light. So hopefully, uh, this doesn't look too bad. Um, at least on here, it doesn't look too bad. But you know, hey, uh, what looks how the computer looks may be different than. Uh, let's bring that up. Come on, flash me the encoder. Flash me. Yeah, this looks pretty good. All right, so anyway, um, let's go right into this. This is the 2004 Chateau Langoa Barton Saint Julien. All right, uh, that Saint Julien is the appellation in um, Bordeaux. Uh, this is a, uh, bought this for 36 euros at um, Via Vinum in Saint Julien. And uh, that equates to about $48.62. So this is not a cheap bottle of wine. Um, according to the information I got, this is a 70% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 20% Merlot, 8% Cabernet Franc, and 2%... I don't know why I'm trying to swirl the wine in the bottle. 2% um, Petit Verdot. All right, 2004. So that's... Uh, you know, that's just for that incredible 2005 uh, vintage in Bordeaux. So uh, let's check it out. Now, uh, I've got a couple entries here. So here's something about uh, Langoa Barton. This is, uh, it, it's, it shares a cellar with uh, Leoville Barton. Um, they're, they're neighbors, basically. Um, they're associated with each other. Uh, if you go, to, for, I didn't actually go to Leoville Barton's website, but uh, when you Google, when you do a search on this winery, their uh, Leoville Barton uh, comes up. So um, they're definitely associated with it, with each other. Um, they were there are two Bartons, yes, Leoville and Lingon. Um so they're, they're, they're definitely closely associated with each other. Now, what was I looking... Chateau... This is their Grand Vin. So this is their first wine. That's why I wanted to make sure I had that. Again, I got this off the uh, Wine Doctor, but also uh, Wikipedia has an okay entry. The Wine Doctor has a much better entry because it actually goes through a lot of stuff. Um, dun 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 they don't mention the Petit Verdot in here, but anyway, so let's get right into the wine. Color-wise, well, it's starting to get a little dark in here, so color-wise, it looks pretty, you know, a little bit darker. I can't, I can't, it's harder to see my fingers through there. I think I might get a couple more of these lights just so I have a nice, a lot of light coming in because I'm doing these things late in the afternoon. I don't have as much sunlight coming through, and I don't want to mess it up with this light. 
pretty low viscosity. Ooh, this nose is nice. So you know, uh, on on the last wine that I did, um, talked about the, the earthiness and minerality. This has got it, but it's it's a little more elegant. It's not, <clears throat> it, it, it's softer, I guess. It's not as um, hitting you in the face type of thing. Though now I got to sneeze. You know, I've got spices coming through. I've got that that cherry type of uh, cherry type of um, uh, aroma, cherry pie. Definitely some wood. Getting that oakiness. It kind of smells like I'm I'm in the cellar. I'm in I'm in the uh, in the barrel room. Really nice nose. It's not overpowering. Everything's kind of balanced on the nose. Well, could not mistake this for anything other than a Bordeaux type of wine. Um, it just, it tastes like Bordeaux, now that I've had a few. Um, now, if you gave it to me blind and, and I hadn't had any Bordeaux for a while, would I pick it out? Maybe? Maybe not. Don't know. But I can tell you, yeah, this is another one. I like the nose better than the, pal than the uh, palate. Not a bad palate, though. But it definitely tastes more Cabernet Sauvignon driven than a Merlot type of wine. Um, but I don't get as much of the pepper. I mean, it's starting to come through a little bit, but you know, that Cab Franc pepperiness, pepperiness, you know, green peppers type of stuff. Don't get so much of it, but I'm getting like the, the, the white black pepper type of stuff. Really? I'm already running on reserve power? Well, that's bogus. We're going to have to stop streaming. Not that anyone's watching. All right. Boom. Let's cut that off. That way I can just preserve my battery power. Dun, dun, dun. No, don't remove it. Just quit it. Bam. Stop broadcast. Close that window. You know what you want. Yes, I want to exit. Go away. Preserve my battery. <laughs> All right, so um, very similar to the last wine. You've got that, that cherry pie type of stuff. Um, you've got the minerality. You've got, you've got all that kind of stuff um, going on. It's just a little bit more elegant. It's silkier. It's um, the pep. The the the, the biggest the, the distinction is there's a little bit of pepper to it, but it's not the green pepper. It's more of that white black pepper type of stuff. But definitely really really nice wine. Cherries, a little bit of oak to it, not not overpowering. Um, Again, I feel like I'm sitting in the barrel room drinking some wine. Um, I would totally recommend it. if you can buy this. Find it again. If you find this, buy it. Um, I, I can only imagine what the 2005 tastes like. It's probably even better. Um, I again will give this. I'm gonna give this an 88. Also, I'm kind of fixate on that. No, I'm gonna give it an 89. I think it's. I think it's, it's better than the last wine. Not phenomenally better, but it's definitely better than the last wine. Um, it's, it's a bit pricey, you know. It's definitely out of the pr the normal price range for this show. But if you've got 50 bucks to splurge and you want to try something, try something that's a, not the typical uh, 50 dollar wine, I'd get it. I don't think it's overly priced for what it is. I mean, it is the Grand Vin. Um, it's not a classified growth. Um, I mean, it's not a first, second, third growth. But. Um, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, no, it is a third growth. There you go. That's why. 
I skipped that. So yeah, I mean, for 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 fifty bucks, it's yeah, it's all right. Definitely buy it if you can find it. Buy it. Faux show. Sure. That's gonna do it. As always, friend me up, donate. Links down below for for the for. Uh, actually, I'll have the wine doctor thing on this one because they don't actually have a uh, that I could find. Other than going to Leoville Barton because, like I said, they're they're affiliated with each other. Um, yeah. We'll see everybody again next time.